Hi again. My name is Rebel and I'm the Rebel Reseller. And today I'm doing um, a video I try to get out once a month where I go back to previous months and I show you some of the bolos that I sold during that month. So this time it's for September and I'm going to share with you things that I sold that were over $25 on all of the marketplaces that I sell in, which is eBay, of course, everything starts there. And then I use list perfectly to cross list to Etsy, Mercari, and Poshmark. So let's get to it. All right, I'm going to start with Mercari. Then I'm going to do Poshmark. But actually, my best sale was on Etsy. So I'll save Etsy for the end. Um, so I sell a lot in what I consider my bread and butter, like eight to $12. I am happy in that price range. I buy stuff for very, very little at yard sales, um, at the Goodwill bins, um, estate sales, and I make a decent profit doing that. Um, I mention quite often in my videos, I do, um, I can find a hundred items in that ten to twelve dollar range before I'm going to find that one item that I can sell for a hundred dollars. So, but I do make decent um, sales in the higher price stuff too. And again, a lot of this is things that I have sourced very cheaply. That's why I love plush and toys. Um, they tend to be much cheaper than you know your your vintage uh, household stuff and things like that. But this is what I love. I love saving the vintage toys, especially the stuffed animals that just doesn't seem to um, have a high regard when they get older um, and they end up in the landfills and I'm determined to save as many as I possibly can. All right, so Mercari. This was a um, Ace Novelty Treasure Troll doll lot. These came from the online hybrid auction that I won last year. Um, these did sell on Mercari for $30. This is a Scooby-Doo black bag. I could not decide if it was going to be like for video games, a purse, makeup, but it was dated 1999 and it did sell on Mercari for $48. This was a nice surprise. This is called a My Minky Company dog plush 15 inches long just had a nice patterns on it teal and black it sold for $56 on Mercari here's Poshmark I don't sell a whole lot of high dollar stuff on Mercari at all it is where I end up putting a lot of my bread and butter because I am trying to get everything listed on at least two platforms so all of my lower dollar stuff on eBay, usually try, I try to cross list to Mercari. But these are some of the Poshmark sales. This was a John Deere snapback hat. Um, I picked up quite a few at an estate sale. I think we paid a dollar each. This one sold for $25. A lot of lovies that I find that are new with the packaging, um, I usually pick up at consignment sales. Normally, I pay two or three dollars for them. I may have paid a little bit more because this was two different um, a lovey and a plush together. It sold on Poshmark for $25. These are BKE women's jeans, they sold for $27 on Poshmark. We picked these up at a church sale, all the clothes were a dollar. These were Ot Boom men's pants with the elastic legs. They sold for $27. This is a Cooper men's leather jacket, size 44. I thought when we picked this up that it was going to be worth a whole lot more. It was not. It sold on Poshmark for $34. These are North Face Ice Pick women's boots. They sold for $45 on Poshmark. I'm pretty sure we picked these up at a yard sale for $5. And this is a Chosun Tan Reindeer Plush. Quite long, 24 inches. It is from JCPenney. It sold for $48. Now for eBay. 
let's see I picked these up at an estate sale it was like in a box and the whole box was I want to say five dollars and there were several different things in this I don't even know if this was complete I just laid it out like it was um, they all were marked Xylus and they sold for best offer of $35 this is a Line Friends White Rabbit Plush. It had New York City on the front of the shirt. It sold for $37.15. These were some Ugg Kensington Women's Boots. They were $5, I'm pretty sure, at a yard sale. They sold for $54.95. Animated Plush, the bane of my existence. I swear I'm probably 60 40 on not working to working when I finally get them home and get them tested a lot of times unfortunately they are stored with batteries inside of them for the holidays and at some point heat poor storage whatever the batteries end up corroding and a lot of times even with some cleaning I can't get them to work properly but this one was fine. It was by MTY International. It sold for $31.45. Fisher-Price Little People um, sets my love. I love Fisher-Price. That's what my wall is back here. Almost all of that is Fisher-Price or some way endearing to me. This, um, These, I think, came from the Highway 127 sale. I bought a bunch, a huge box for $95. I have sold a lot of it, way into the profit already. This hospital set sold for $38. This is a Gerber Tender Loving Care Critters Koala Bear from 1988. It sold for $25 best offer. I just love the vintage plush. This is a Dakin Bear Plush with a little cute little peach collar from 1989. It sold for $30. One thing I recommend when you're especially listing older plush, if you have a date, um, go ahead and put that in the title. I It also cues me into the plush that I can cross list to Etsy because Etsy is for vintage items. Yes, you can guess, but this makes it so much easier um, if you know for sure that this was vintage. This was Russ Ambrosia Cat Plush. A lot of times the, the small Russ plush are my bread and butter. $8 to $12. Kids love them because they're small and they can um, are easy in their hands to be carried around. This one just seemed more unique because of the coloring, so I did list it a little bit higher, and it sold for best offer of $30. This is America Wego Gorilla Plush. I know this was a viewer sale, so thank you, Sherry. Um, Sherry likes to buy a lot of the plush that I list that are um, monkeys, primates, um, and so she had picked this one up. I loved this one. The face was so unique. This is a Monami Monkey Lovey. I pick up all loveys. Most are in my bread and butter range, but on occasion I do find one that is much better. This one's from 2013. It sold for $44.06. This is a vintage Siamese cat plush. Had cute little blue um, plastic eyes. No tag, so I did not know who the manufacturer was. It, sh it gave off like gunned type, but I couldn't find anything like it. I still list a lot of plush, even if I don't know who the manufacturer is. Just try to use as many keywords as you possibly can to help somebody find um, the plush that they are looking for. Um, this one sold for $30. Best offer. This is Dakin. Love that brand. This is Miss Piggy from 1988. She Her body was just kind of different. Polyester-like. Um, just very unique. Did have a few stains. I don't... She had like this little snout on her face. I did not want to put that type of plush in the washing machine because I'm sure it would have damaged it. So I did list all the, the issues it had and then I was just going to leave it to the buyer to clean. It sold for $52.16. These are Kenner Hug-A-Bunch Babies. 
I find the dolls and the babies quite often, even though I think they're from like the 80s maybe. Um, the dolls are like this big and they've got really, really, really curly hair. These are the babies that went with them. I think most of these probably came from the um, online hybrid auction that I won, um, which was funny. I was bidding on a lot of them that I lost, but then all of these babies were mixed in other boxes that I won. So these five together sold for $31.45. Playmobil. A lot of times I pick these up at the bins. I just dig through the bottoms and grab up as many stuff as I can find. That's um, Playmobil. And then I make these lots. This one sold for $30. This is Dakin again. Very cute elephant. It had like the Sherpa fur all over its um, face and the hands and the feet. It sold for $34.16. A Walmart plush. Love Walmart, especially the vintage stuff. This was a German Shepherd plush. It sold for $35.95. The thing with, I sell a lot of dog plush, and if you can identify the breed and put that in your title, they just seem to do really, really well for me. Thus, the Walmart plush. We pick up a lot of flatware. Um, a lot of times I do break them up into small lots, like four forks, four spoons, four tablespoons. This one was just kind of not in the greatest condition. And then it was just kind of a little here and a little there of stuff. So I just decided to keep it all together. It sold for $30 best offer. Ralph Lauren tropical shirt, Hawaiian shirt. I find a lot of them here in Tennessee. I find a lot of Hawaiian shirts. In fact, I just picked up a whole bunch when we went to the Highway 127 sale. I gotta get them listed. This one sold for $27. This is Mattel, love it. Emotions Christmas Bear from 1983. It says Joy to My Cutie Bear on the front there. It sold for $35.95. Do you notice it's a lot of vintage stuff that sells for the most, not the Squishmallows. Vintage, that's where it is. This is Play School Disney Who Framed Roger Rabbit. This is a 16-inch doll from 1988. It sold for $31.30. This type of time of year, even though this was for September, I was just talking about this on my live. This time of year, fourth quarter, a lot of people are buying nostalgia. They are buying toys from their past. They're buying things that they remember from their parents' home or their grandparents' home. So this is the time of year that I tend to sell a lot of these type of things. Robert picked these up at an estate sale. He found two Dra Dungeons and Dragons books. This was in poor, poor condition. It, I started, I did it on an auction. It probably should have gone more. Might have been a bad move. It did sell for the one bid, but I'm serious. It had water damage. It had discoloration. It had a storage smell. All of that's in my description, um, but it still sold. And then the second one, I think, sold the next month for like 50. I pick up a lot of Christmas ornaments at estate sales. Usually on half price day, I can get them for about 50 cents. So I, I probably paid 50 cents each for all of these. They were just cute little three packs of um, nutcracker ornaments. I decided to just keep them all together. They would make a nice little well-rounded Christmas tree decoration. They sold for $35.95. This came out of one of the Fisher Price Little People sets that I bought locally at a yard sale. Um, it was, it had, it's the school set and these trays fit inside of the school and it had all of the alphabets I think except for one but me I keep I keep stashes of a whole lot of replaceable type stuff so I did have a bag of um, just Fisher Price magnet letters that I hadn't done anything with so I was able to finish filling in this set it sold for best offer of thirty dollars this is another Christmas ornament I probably paid fifty cents at an estate sale 
These are House of Hatton. I have learned that those are highly, highly collectible. I couldn't find any um, comps on these. So I did list it really, really high and then wait for the best offer. Best offers are a good way of showing what the actual, to me, on things that you have no clue value of. I did get a $25 offer and for one single ornament, I sold it. I find these a lot at estate sales. It is a Norpro food strainer. It did have some extra pieces in it so that you could do grapes and juice and just different things. I'm pretty sure I usually pay $5 or so for them and it sold for $40. I have had some, not this brand, another brand that sold for like $60, $70, $80. More Fisher Price Little People. This came from the Highway 127 lot that I picked up. These five pieces sold for $35.95. They went to the castle. This is a mutsy. Now the mutsy, gunned mutsies that I've dealt with in the past are larger plush and those are very, very sought after. But this was just a little four inch plush, dark brown. There were others listed, but they weren't dark brown. So again, $39.95 I started out with and it sold very quickly for $35.95. I love gunned. This is Department 56 Harley Davidson. I bought a set of five different sets in the Harley Davidson series um, for $25 at an estate sale. This one piece sold for $35.95. Lilo and Stitch. Love that movie. This is Stitch holding a pumpkin, 12 inches tall. It sold for $36.86. I, oh, this is from the Highway 127 sale also because I just kind of saw him um, in a very overpriced, overpriced little tent city as I was walking by. Didn't quite know who he was, but I did Google lens him and found out that he is one of the like side characters to Captain Underpants. His name is Harold Hutchins. I tend to think a lot of times it's the off characters in some of these cartoon series that do much better than just the regular characters. He sold for $32. I have passed up baby type plush and toys forever. If I'm at the bins and there's a whole bunch of them, I might pick them up. But for the most part, I have always just stayed away from them. Until recently, I started getting more of them and I started making just decent little sized lots and I have sold, I think, three sets of them now um, for $35.95. This one was a Bright Starts. It was the Taggies brand series. Make sure if you use the word Taggies that that is actually on one of the tags of all the items that you're listing because um, you can get a Vero. A lot of people think that taggies are just the little tags that hang off stuff, but it's an actual brand. So don't use it unless you know for sure it is taggies. Each one of these were checked and each one of them had a tag that said taggies. Tommy Chuggington train sets. I picked up a large lot of these and I split them up. I do really well, especially with the die cast or the wooden trains in the Chuggington series. This were just train tracks and risers um, that I just made a, a lot of. They sold for best offer of $32. This is Kids Preferred. If you see a plush and it is shaped like a star, Definitely check the comps. There are several. I think Fisher Price has a series out too. Um, that's uh, they're called Slumber Baby. Yes, yeah, Slumber Babies. They too are kind of shaped like stars. This one also it was called Sweet Dreams from 2003. It sold for fifty three dollars and ninety five cents. I picked these up at an estate sale. I think I paid three bucks each. They were supposed to have like a plastic dome that went over them. These are the Disney Space Buddies. I think it's Rosebud and Butterball. They sold for $71.95. Let's 
These are GAT women's jeans, definitely wide leg, all the rage right now. Um, we picked up quite a few pairs of vintage women's skater jeans at a yard sale early, I think earlier this year. Paid like a dollar and two dollars each for them. This pair sold for $80 best offer. And then this. Yeah, I was looking for a box. I needed a Walmart medium sized box and I had ran out and I needed it for something that I was trying to get packed. Underneath this table was one of those boxes. So when I opened up the box, it was all of our old vintage video games. They were Roberts and the boys that I hadn't done anything with. They were just sitting under here. Eventually I was gonna get to them. I started pulling them out because I needed the box and I turned to Robert and I said, wouldn't it be funny if it had one of those high dollar football games in there? I don't even know what it's called. And the third one from the bottom was this game. It sold immediately for $89.95. This is the one that you need to look for. And I don't think it matters too much about what game system. This one was Xbox 360. It's the NCAA Football 14 game. Definitely keep your eyes out. All right, Etsy. I love Etsy. I do not have a whole lot of stuff listed there. I say this too often. I need to get more on there. But you know, it's the 20 cents automatically you have to pay when you list stuff. It does last for four months if your item, and then it renews 20 more cents for four months. I love it. I think their uh, final value fees are probably 10%-ish, somewhere in there, I think, with all the processing and all of that. But you can only list either handmade or um, vintage on there, although I see a lot of stuff that shouldn't be on there that is definitely not vintage. Another story. These are called Creeple, creeple People Molds. They go to a Mattel thing maker. I've, I've actually found these several times. This set were the, the Troll Molds. Um, these five sold for $32, but they're, they're just little. And then Definitely the time of year if you have him listed. He is from the island, uh, Rudolph and the Island of Misfit Toys. This is Stuffin'. They were released by CVS. 1998, 1999 is most of them that I have been finding. Um, this one, seven inch plush. I, I think he, he and the Dolly Sue um, little girl are the ones that sell for the most. He sold on Etsy for $44.95. And then my best sale is this. I went to a church sale and I paid $3 for this. It was still rolled up in its original plastic. I don't know if it got used and if it got used maybe just one year and then it was rolled up and put back in that plastic never to be used again. It's from 1987 and it is Avon. Avon. And it is an advent calendar. The main thing to make sure that you have is the little mouse. And the little mouse sells all by himself. If you were just to find him um, for like $30 or $40, I think. Maybe even a little bit more. But I did end up selling this. I had it listed on all of my platforms. eBay, Poshmark, Mercari, and Etsy. It sold on Etsy. And it, the price on Etsy was the highest of all of the platforms. Because I always run sales. Um, but it sold for $139.95. So I know those of you who watch me regularly, um, this is just kind of a do you remember type video. Things to be looking for, especially if you're going into estate sales and yard sales and thrift stores. Our, I think our yard sales are dwindling down. We've hit really, really cold weather here in Tennessee, so I don't think we'll be seeing too many of them, but we do have estate sales all year round, and I'm hoping to make a um, sourcing trip probably next month sometime just to kind of restock and have, have a profit pile waiting for me for when I eventually get through. Okay, I probably won't get through all of this stuff, but eventually... I'll get through most of it. But like my shirt, I just got this in the mail today. This is my alma mater, Chaminade University of Honolulu. Um, I just happened to 
think I needed a new shirt. <laughs> I'm always getting new shirts. I love my shirts. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, I got to get to work. All right. Bye.